Hi, this is Daryl Living today with TechCrunch, and today we're looking at Nokia's new Heater Map Maps app for uh, iOS. So here you got the um, um, the main maps view, and as you can tell, it's uh, not vector based, so it does redraw as you zoom in and out, like Google Maps. Um, not ideal, but uh, does the job. Um, but here are the real advantages. So in your views, you've got the public transport view, which I've currently got active. And so that shows you all the nearby stops, um, including uh, subway and bus. Um, yeah, so let's just go back there. Okay, yeah, here you go. We zoom in, it takes a second, but there you can see the, uh, it's got the uh, subway stops right there, the bus stops right there. Um, and then if you take a look at the, the live traffic view, and then it doesn't have um, traffic details for a lot of the in-city streets here in Toronto, but it does have it for the main thoroughfares. So you can see there, uh, the Gardner Expressway is moving well, except there's a you know a slight delay there in the yellow section. Uh, here's the legend for what you can turn on and off, and and uh, what the different colors mean. And then we go back to different map views. You can turn on satellite view, and once you turn on satellite view, you can also turn on community view. Um, but uh, when you turn it on there, it takes a little while longer to load. Uh, I have a pretty decent home internet to Wi-Fi connection, so um, this is a little troubling. But it does, uh, I mean, it gets, it gets there eventually. And um, this is also with the community mode on, remember. So it's also looking for uh, local maps and local points of interest built by the user community. So uh, I think that might add a little bit to it. So if you see here, yeah, yeah, it's still taking a little while to load. But now let's look at how it handles directions. So I've got a destination here. It's not really any destination. It's just a cross street. Um, but you bring up the destination. It gives you nearby places, including just general nearby places, proximity, shopping, going out, sites, and public transport. And uh, you know, with those middle three categories, it gives you ratings, and then with public transport, it gives you nearby stops. And you go to directions, it gives you walking directions. And there's the driving directions right there. It's a list. Um, here you can actually change you know, which day you're looking at, as well as which time. So it defaults to immediately, but you can look in the future too. Uh, transit directions right there, it gives you the route map. And you can see them on the map you know, outlined uh, with the color path. And here is the walking direction, turn-by-turn -turn navigation. So the first time you load this up, you're gonna have to load the video file, or the voice file, and then you also need to load audio. Um, it's grabbing it from Nokia's servers. But then you load it up, and uh, yeah, it gets you on the way with the same way you would expect to see it from driving direction.